Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining me as a part of the John Morris Group in this video. Today we are discussing the wide range of different solutions available in your laboratory and how you can get the best possible results out of them using the correct type of pipette. I will be covering with you a number of short topics and about Blurb on John Morris Group, a little bit about who I am and how I can help you, and what a pipette actually is and how it works, and the different types of pipettes available to you. John Morris Group has been around for over 60 years now, providing industry-leading supply, installation, service and support of high quality precision instrumentation to all types of laboratories around Australia and New Zealand, from microbiology and chemistry labs, to undergraduate teaching labs, to astrophysical simulation, all the way to food, feed and beverage laboratories and the cosmetic and pharmaceutical organisations. My name is Peter. I've been with John Morris Group for over four years now. I'm a product manager, which means that I take care of a number of key brands that fall under general laboratory, namely Sigma centrifuges, Memo temperature control chambers, and of course, the Gilson pipettes. I'm your main support contact whenever you need technical information, product training, application help, and solution-based support. In this video, I want to run you through the different types of solutions that pipettes can handle accurately and precisely in the laboratory. I want to explain some of the terminology that is used when discussing different types of pipettes and show you how we can apply these different techniques to any of the solutions discussed. So, what is a pipette? A pipette can be described as a form of piston-operated volumetric apparatus. What this means is that the pipette uses a piston to accurately and precisely aspirate and dispense a volume of liquid as set by the user. We are usually talking about smaller volumes of liquids, so from about 0.2 microliters all the way up to 10 milliliters. Throughout the video, I will say the words accuracy and precision quite frequently. When I talk about accuracy, I'm talking about the closeness of agreement between the target volume and the measured volume. So if I set my pipette to dispense 10 microliters and it dispenses eight microliters, I have an inaccurate pipette. When I talk about precision, I'm talking about the closeness of agreement between the individual volumes. So if I set my pipette to dispense 10 microliters three times and it dispenses eight microliters three times, then I have an inaccurate but a precise pipette. There are many different types of liquids that can be found in a laboratory. A good portion of the time, these liquids will be aqueous and therefore pose no problem when it comes to pipetting. But there can be more troublesome solutions in the lab that need to be pipetted accurately and precisely that your regular pipette can't handle. Viscous solutions, such as glycerol, resins, and some adhesives can clog up your pipette tip. Volatile solutions such as ethanol and those substances used in chromatography tend to leak out of a regular pipette tip and can also evaporate up into the tip holder, potentially causing damage to the piston in the pipette. Radioactive, corrosive and DNA or biological solutions can sometimes cause problems with contamination between dispensing cycles with a regular pipette. There are two types of pipettes that are regularly used to handle all of these solutions, that is, either an air displacement pipette or a positive displacement pipette. An air displacement pipette has a piston that is located internally within the pipette itself. There is a seal at the end of the piston and a seal at the end of the tip holder when a pipette tip is fitted. This creates a dead volume within the pipette. When the push button is pressed down on the pipette, the piston moves down, displacing the air in that dead volume. This allows for the calibrated volume to be aspirated and dispensed as accurately as possible. With a positive displacement pipette, the piston is actually external to the pipette and in direct contact with your sample. The positive displacement pipette takes a different type of pipette tip called a capillary piston tip, which clamps directly onto the pipette. When the push button is pressed, the piston moves up through the capillary, which promotes the movement of the liquid into the capillary, matching the set volume. When the capillary piston tip is disposed of, it means all components that have come into contact with the liquid and the air surrounding it are also disposed of. This means no liquid comes into contact with the pipette and therefore no risk of contamination between the pipette and the next sample. Between these two different technologies, there is an appropriate solution for any type of liquid in the lab to be dispensed at the best possible accuracy and precision. For aqueous solutions, the air displacement pipette, which is likely to be the one that you are most familiar with, 
will give you the best possible accuracy and precisions when dispensing. For the trouble solutions described earlier, i.e. the viscous and volatile solutions, and those solutions where no contamination between samples is imperative, the positive displacement pipette will give the best possible results. This particular video shows a air displacement pipette being used to dispense a silicon fluid, which is quite viscous, so you'll be able to see how difficult it is for an air displacement pipette to actually pick this liquid up. You'll see that the liquid is sticking to the side of the pipette tip, so it is quite difficult to draw it up. There's no force for it. Uh, it can also create air bubbles, and you will also get a large amount of the liquid sticking to the sides of the pipette. So you have a very inaccurate and imprecise result. It is very difficult because there is such little force for such a viscous solution to dispense out of the pipette tip again. So you will not get all of the liquid out of the pipette tip as you would expect with an aqueous solution with an air displacement pipette. So as you can see, this is really compromising the accuracy of your result and it will compromise the precision as well. We are using the same liquid, uh, the silicon solution, but with a positive displacement pipette with that capillary piston tip. So they look a little bit different. You can see the piston is actually in contact with the liquid, which is forcing the liquid up a little bit better. You'll see that the there are no air bubbles and the pipette has taken that liquid up very, very quickly and it's very easy to dispense as well. There is nothing left in the tip afterwards. The most important benefit a pipette can have to its user, besides the accuracy and precision, is the ergonomics and comfort it can provide. Not only does a pipette need to be comfortable to use for long periods at a time, it also has to be safe. Pipetting consistently throughout the day can cause wrist, arm, forearm, and back pain, and is a common cause for RSI in the fingers. Pipettes will usually have several features to combat this. In the air displacement category, Gilson has a fair number of options for different workloads. The Pipetman Classic is the original option in the set. The oldest functioning Pipetman Classic in Australia was made in 1979 at the very latest. This pipette is extremely robust, making it perfect for student and training use, as it is very difficult to damage. The downside to this pipette is that it is not designed for constant use. The push button takes a fair bit of force to push down to the second stop and so it can be quite uncomfortable if used by one technician frequently throughout the day. The Pipetman G alleviates this problem with an updated piston and spring assembly and a lubricated piston. These features allow for a much softer push button action, making it far more comfortable and safe to use frequently throughout the day. The Pipetman L is one step above again. The premium pipette for those who spend a fair portion of their day just pipetting. The pipette comes with a comfort handle for a lighter grip, a much lighter body and a movable tip ejector, reducing the distance your thumb has to travel to actually eject the tip, also designed with the lefties in mind. It has the same low and soft pipetting force that the Pipetman G does and it also has a lockable volume to prevent the user from accidentally bumping and adjusting the volume during a pipetting cycle. For those users working with repeat aliquots or microplates, there are options available again to increase comfort and reduce working time. Gilson offer a range of multi-channel pipettes in either 8 or 12 channel configurations. Gilson also provide a 96 well plate pipetta called the Plate Master, which is essentially a manual 96 channel pipette. The accuracy and precision of all Gilson air displacement pipettes is at least three times better than that of the ISO 8655 standard stipulates. So you are getting the best accuracy and precision on the market with a Gilson pipette, coupled with the Gilson tip to create a pipetting system. There are two options from Gilson for positive displacement pipetting. The first being the award-winning Microman E pipette. These pipettes have a volume range of one microliter to 1000 microliters. They come with a comfort handle to promote a relaxed grip when pipetting and a lockable volume function. These pipettes take the patented capillary piston tip. The Distramen pipette is a stepper or repeater pipette, which takes larger syringe tips up to 12.5 mil and can dispense in user-defined aliquots. In conclusion, the air displacement and positive displacement pipettes in the Gilson range are designed specifically to make sure that you can dispense any possible solution found in the laboratory to the best possible accuracy and precision, helping your experiments and results to keep the integrity that you would expect. We discussed some of the terminology used when talking about different pipetting techniques. 
we defined what a positive displacement pipette actually is and the benefits it has, as well as those of the air displacement pipettes and how both of these types of pipettes can be applicable to methods across any type of laboratory. We also defined accuracy and precision in relation to pipetting. We are here to help. John Morris Group have over 30 years of experience with pipettes across the market of any brand, but especially the Gilson pipettes. Please do not hesitate to get in contact with us in regards to technical knowledge, product support, user training, calibration or maintenance and repair of your pipettes. John Morris Group has factory trained engineers in every state to support the installation, use, calibration, maintenance and servicing of any equipment. Specific to pipettes, John Morris have been partners with Gilson for over 40 years now and have the technical knowledge, skills and resources to provide service, calibration and training to any common pipette user. Thank you very much for watching this video and joining me to talk about the Gilson pipettes. I really appreciate your time. I hope to see you soon on our website or in upcoming videos. Bye.